yeah here we go so welcome to multinet design we are starting a new project entirely apart from the one we have been doing before so we are titling this particular project ruthless duplex it is ruthless ruthless because the entire elevation is going to be showing where the roof are not going to be feasible so let me show you what we are talking about and i want you to follow through the whole design process from one and the other so this is what i'm saying this is the particular design we are talking about here so i want you to follow the step by step how we create the plan and everything and do not forget before i myself forget so kindly subscribe to this channel at the same time always like at the same time comment and do whatsoever that is feel a challenge for us let us know from the comment section so we pass through our course and used to build up the the mini one so let us go to the main work and start the project entirely as we have said so in this particular one we are starting the the wall you click on the wall like i told you if you, you must know how to have a project uh, window to be open like this from the red so we are using the 2023 so according to my own personal template this is what i have gotten so i want to change this wall so I only have a default word that I've already been created that I'm using. So I want to edit something there and change the thickness to what to do five. So before I start the real project that I'm going to work on, so that I will not have anything confusing in the details of my work. So I'm doing this and everything is going to be uploaded and say okay. So I'm starting. So what I need to do is the first horizontal line to be drawn. And this is where I'm starting. So I'm going to be following this precision with what? With dimension. So I'm creating this one for the first time. You may ask me why is it that I'm not starting with the floor plan? Maybe because I did not have a site, uh, site plan or site something as unusual. Now, this particular design is just a preference design that I made for a client some years back. So I just want to put bring it here for the example and the image I'm using exactly is what i get from a uh, tom bricks architects so they are one of the architects that design something in that manner and this is what i'm using so i have this one in place so i'm going to create a the marketing design as well so now i'm drawing this into space so i'm trying to draw ground floor plan in this particular position so i put it there i close it up in this way and then i close it down so I'm going to be explaining all the spaces I'm creating one after the other. So this one I want to create first is that I'm going to create what the, uh, what is it called, anteroom, uh, including it's going to have a physical toilet, which is going to be situated here. So do not bother about the initial dimension because I just want to create the concept so that we follow how to do this, the auto design as an architect. So you put this one here and this one is serve as another space. So you go ahead can extend it further it's going to join together that is the function of Revit in it on its own so you join this one together with this one again so here now this one is going to serve as what as a living room so this one is going to be so from anti room to enter into then and link into this place so that's the form which design is going to be taken so that is no particular the principle of design is that you just create a functional space so that everybody will have an access to whatever they are doing so I have done this one in place and I have chosen the concept of this particular space. So now I want to do what is that? I want to have a measurement so that the whole place is not going to be bigger, bigger and have a shapeless design aspect. So now you check this. It is like a like a temporary this uh, uh, dimension for you so that you'll be able to get your design accurately. So this design is it's just a matter of inspiration as i'm doing it i have made this this particular design every somewhere anyway but i've done this one for long there but the plan self i can't find where i keep it just that i'll get that image again and let me incorporate it into things that people can use so now this is the anterior and now the anterior is going to be 1800 it's not going to be something big not going to be something bigger so yeah I'm expanding this one then i have to get the dimension here 
okay this one is 3c so i'm going to do this one i have it like a 3500 so be a size of a as this normal size of what i need to get so i'm going to align this one into this space so here is going to be something different i'm going to reduce the size of this and do this is going to take something like a 3000 i mean 4500 so it's going to get aligned with this uh, the city room as well so i'm aligning it in this manner so i have this in place so this is the city room so this room is used to be is normal dimension so leave it in that manner or you reduce this let it be like 600 and 600 i mean 6200 for that purpose to be met so i am done with this so the next thing is i want to focus on what the kitchen so how would the kitchen look like so i'm having the kitchen in this space click on it and see what you have so with the kitchen you have the stair space this is going to be the, my space for stair to go to the top level i remember this is a two-story building but because the height is still going further so i have this one so i want to create a, a what is it called a store at this point for the kitchen to have a space to rely on so i have a store in this place so because of that i'm going to do at least this dimension i have this put in place and have this one put in place as well so now the water 25 is there the kitchen is is being a big kitchen so i'm going to reduce the size of the kitchen to something like say let's say mm, 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 three thousand seven hundred so let the kitchen be in that form it's going to be a u-shaped kitchen so which is going to be a very fantastic kitchen to be looking at so i have store of one five which is permanently okay for me so here i'm having this one so what i want to create in this place is that i want to create another room at this place so it can be made for visitor at the same time it can be meant for for maid so if the owner want to convert it to maid toilet fine if you want to convert it to visitor toilet excellent so i'm going to create this one I have it in this space put it here and divide it into space so i'm having this uh, this particular um, yeah no i want to rotate this one because i want something different and something unique so ventilation i always take very conscious of ventilation whenever i'm doing my design so ventilation is much important when you are doing that so that i have a good ventilation around this place so this place is going to be open like this so when you enter you have your space to be used and get it done so you see to be yeah this is okay it's a normal size of what so i'm going to reduce it to 1000 so let that be at the conscious of designer so i'm done with this preliminary design aspect so what i need now is to arrange this space into into how they want to be this is the ground floor plan so if i have ground floor plan let me represent it with total graphics and let everything come up alive so follow us to as we are designing this in project by project so now let us do the first one the first thing we need to do is to go to annotation then represent the annotation by detail line detail line detail in the sense that i'm going to create this uh, okay let's say from the middle i have this guy in join here so this is going to be a entrance porch to this particular space so as I have the entrance porch in this place now, the next thing I need to do is to bring in the uh, what is it called? The aspect of a uh, column. So I'm going to do create similar. So as I have done the create similar, I'm uh, selecting this into space to let it be, be useful. So zoom in and then eject this into it. good so i press escape so this one is going to be for the space of what i have created so i'm done with this and i'm doing through with that aspect so the next thing that i'm going to create temporary window before i go to my design window and create it perfectly so the temporary window is going to be here so you just click on the window so you click on the window select the height for what you want to do so change this to 1100 I mean 2100 
so the space that you know that you want to put them or select another one because it seems to have created something that are more unique so let me leave this one especially so go to edit select and serial of art the height is going to be 1500 to what the width of what of 700 so just a temporary just for representative purpose we are going to do a designing window that are going to be more energetic and look more fantastic than what we are representing so you just have this one at the back of your mind you are still represent it from now so when we want to edit the elevation we eliminate most of this one so get it so that the, the plan will be unique that's why i'm using this particular window options so i have this in place and i have this one in place as well so i think the windows are all there for now so i think we can go ahead and do also for you want to do now i'm going to use graphic annotation to represent this for a particular uh, staircase because unique staircase i want to create in this place and i want you to follow through whenever we are doing the old design so follow in this design is very important for you so you need to follow through everything one after the other so i'm creating this one where um continue to work on this so this one represents that okay i'm doing i have a staircase at this point so staircase are here and it's here same time here as well and same time is here so that is the beauty of what you have here so this is the staircase space this and now i want to put an opening which is door take it door select the door and check from here if it's okay so you put the first one here so you internalize the second one so after which you are done with that so that no need of using this particular door again the next door that you need to use is a normal door so you can change the height if you want to you don't want to change the if it's normal standard for you to change it so for in this place, I'm going to do the changing of height, let's say 2100, and this one is going to be 900, good. So this one has reduced, so turning back to 2100 and say apply. So at this junction, what you need to do from here, you enter to here, and then same time you exit from here, and same time you enter to here. So the same time you come from here, and at the same time you come from here now what i do here is that i'm not going to use the on this junction so because this is going to be a surface point so this door is not uh, this wall is not going to close so it's going to be up here so you enter from the uh, enter to and you get into dining and the dining should was come and up so i'm taking this into space then why i stand this one back and i send this one away so the arc we when we want to do interior, we're going to see the arc side of it. But now we are going to represent it with graphics line. So line now, I call it what we are using the modest. So the modest point line will allow us to have a creative line at this point. Don't you? So that is it. So here have done it there, we have a we have a fillet. So let us quickly put some features like furniture. So what I do before that that time is that I want to duplicate this door to duplicate edit then duplicate it and we call it toilet door so as you do that then you duplicate since you have duplicated it you change the size you change the width so which is going to be 750 of a width good for me so i'm going to change that say the uh, what is it called create similar so i'm placing the door here at the same time whenever i have it i'm going to use it here too so as i have in those two places that one so i'm returning it back to the original form which is what of this particular one so this is done so what we do next is that we are using components remember i have my own components if you are losing or lagging any components you can go to feed it i think i have some at the same time if you are if you are if you install the hardening you can use plug into this space and use it magnificently so this kind of plug will allow you to have whatever you want to have connected to internet now it will be more possible so 
for now i'm not doing that so now let's go on with the component that we have some of which i have downloaded so that's what i want to use in this space so the first aspect is that uh, i have some of these to be used and this this is let's say whether they will apply without still creating flow so i'm creating this queen bed good let's queen bed be here it works so some of this we know what let us quickly create architectural flow for this so you click here and say select select this select this aspect select this and select this select this to close and select this as well so as you have done with this then you do the need to by what tidied everything together so some of which you are still going back to edit and which is what so like this one now you have to align it to the external aspect so you click finish click finish and click finish so pure finish like that so you have this then you go to component and go and put what you need to put so like section over i'm doing this and i'm doing it for good to select so my so mirror this and without copy the place i'm going to be facing is not here but this wall side this long wall so that is where the the cabinets or the tv stand is going to be so i'm done with this i can now copy and say so see another component which is what it is um, yeah so the dining table is going to come into place so maybe later i will change this dining so i have to be getting one behind that one so kitchen if i have a kitchen cabinet i will bring it in so if i didn't have i'm going to leave it in that manner so let everything stay according to their own particular state of mind so do i have it i don't think so so the kitchen cabinet is not available i'm left i'm leaving it for good so i will just use grab it to represent it in the later time we are going to do that so this one will represent that okay this kitchen is a u-shaped kitchen so as i have done that select all this thing back and transform it to demolish and say thing line so with this now we have represent something reasonable in our graphics so this is the first floor plan of what you have created and it's the beauty aspect of it that we have already engaged ourselves in this level so please kindly subscribe to this channel follow us to the next thing we want to do is to create the first floor so join us in the next